Here I am mixing things up just a little bit today. So I'm going to say good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Today's vlog really did just completely get taken over by the childcare element of what I've done today, just because we just had one of those amazing creative exploratory days where one thing happens and then we move on to the next thing and then that flows into something else. It's like a real progressive play learning cycle just was going on and we were just going with it and I filmed so much of that. But I appreciate not everybody is really interested in what the kids have got up to and just want like a daily vlog. So I have got this vlog up, the, the childcare vlog up now early at nearly two o'clock um, just so that the parents can see it and enjoy it and anyone else who enjoys watching the children play or uses it for inspiration on what to do with their own children, that kind of thing. Um, and yes, I have decided to kind of start a mini vlog for the rest of the afternoon with just chatting with me, maybe a spot of what we get up to for dinner, that kind of thing. Heads up, it's it's the Wednesday that we have fish and chips because the fish and chip van's coming. It's that fortnight. So, um, so yes, yeah, fish and chips. Won't be terribly exciting, it'll be takeaway. But um, yeah, I just thought, look at me waving my arms around. Whoa! I'm like one of those wavy sock people, aren't I? More, 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 more. And I have things to tell you today, which I haven't yet told you because we've just been having so much fun. I haven't had a moment to really talk to the camera. But I have things to tell you. One about our ghost in the house. Um, and I'm sure there was something else to tell you as well, but it's gone from my mind. I need to be writing these things down. I'm sorry, I'm talking a million miles now. I'm going to make a cup of tea. And then I'm going to go back to work and um, I will talk to you about all these things that I've been meaning to talk to you about very soon. Mm, this is a good cup of tea. But I'm sitting here drinking this tea and I can see something over there. I can see a big black cloud coming. Oh dear. I don't want rain. Can you hear thunder? Did you hear it? Yeah. Oh. The mummy robin is coming out of her nest looking for food. Yeah. Let's get some seed and put some seed down there for her. Can I do it? Yeah, do you want to put this handful of seed down? Go on then. Whoa! No, I didn't mean there. <laughs> I meant over here. <laughs> Sorry, I probably wasn't very clear. Oh, let's put it down here and then she can come and get it. Oh, I don't want it to rain. I am currently watching the black clouds appear. Oh, no rain, please. That's actually hail, Thomas. Hail? Hailstones, yeah, it's ice. Look, if we pick it up, look at that. It's ice. ice. It's an ice storm. An ice storm? Yeah. Can we eat the ice? Oh, yeah, you can eat the ice if you want. Yeah. What do you think of it? Tastes good? Cold. Cold, yeah. Well, I'm not missing out on the ice. Mmm. <laughs> I wonder if I can catch some in my hand. Isn't nature amazing? There's ice coming out of the sky. Why? Because it's colder up in the sky than it is here. Mmm, tasty. It's forming ice. Oh, another bit. Yum. Well, there's a bit on my top. I'll eat this stuff on you. <laughs> okay. It's like a, sh a slushy from the sky. Oh, look, here comes a robin. She needs to go back to her house. Look, there she is. Well, let's be honest, that was inevitable, wasn't it? That the rain was going to come, chucking down the minute we had to go and do the school run. It started off as hail, as you probably saw, the kids were having a great time with the hail. But yeah, just chucked it down. Um, so the one thing I have to tell you, and for those of you who are new to the channel, you won't be aware of this. Um, those of you that have been watching a long time will have probably heard me mention our ghost who resides in our home. Um, there are many reasons why we have or believe we have ghosts in the house um, to the point where people who have stayed here 
and looked after the house for us and looked after our pets when we'd gone away also have had interactions with the ghost. So the ghost overstepped a line last night. I mean, he goes quiet for a while and, and then does stuff. <laughs> and he's been quiet for a little while. I mean, not even any noises, no shadows, no nothing. Last night, overstepped a mark, just, just went beyond what is acceptable. And I'm saying this loud enough for you to hear, ghosty, because this is not appropriate behaviour in any way, shape or form. So, myself, Lee, the boys are all at home. I've finished work. I've hoovered upstairs. I've tidied up. The boys have been back from forward to the shower. A bra, which I have not worn for a while, that was in my underwear drawer, while suddenly strewn in the doorway of our bedroom while Lee was in the bath. Now, Lee had no need to go to the drawer where he keeps his underwear or pyjamas, which is the drawer above my underwear drawer, um, because his pyjamas were under his pillow. So he literally just went in the doorway, picked them out from under his pillow and went into the bathroom. Um, I even questioned my boys. <laughs> I even questioned, I said, have either of you been through my underwear drawer? And they burst out laughing, looked at me and went, why would we go through your underwear drawer? And I said, well, why would the ghost go through my underwear drawer? But somebody has and has strewn my bra around the house. So, um, yeah, they, they were laughing. Brenton said we had a paranormal panty thief. Um, I said, well, he's not gone for them. He's gone for the bra. So, um, yeah, yeah. We were desperately trying to work out how this bra could have got in the doorway. Like a reasonable, logical, it got caught on to a pair of pyjamas. My pyjamas were under my pillow. Lee's pyjamas were under his pillow. Uh, Lee had walked backwards and forwards in that room. I'd walked backwards and forwards in that room. The bra was in the drawer. We hadn't been to the drawer. There was no, there was just no way the bra could have got there by itself and nobody touched it. It was one of those moments when the ghost got involved. So yes, ghosty's been quiet for a while, but not anymore. So that was one of the things I had to tell you. The other thing I wanted to tell you is I'm thinking of doing another question and answer session um, just because I haven't done one for a while. Um, it's probably been what, I think it was around Christmas time, wasn't it? I did my last question and answer sessions. But obviously with so many new subscribers um, and new viewers, there may well be people out there who would like to know stuff about me who haven't, you know, who haven't had long-term interaction with this channel to, um, to get those answers yet. So yeah, maybe this is a good time to do a get to know me kind of um, question and answer thing. And even if they are questions that have already been answered previously or that most of you know because you've been watching for a long time. Don't worry about it, just ask the question if you'd like to know and um, and I will answer it. Right now I need tea and that is something you new viewers will find I drink a lot of. Tea is my go-to and in fact the cups I had made here have got the childcare element on them. There we go. My nature element and there we have worm's eye view but first a cuppa because that's how i start my day first a cuppa and yeah here is the squirrel because there is a story in the van life playlist where i get attacked by a squirrel and end up in a and e so if that's not intriguing oi what are you shoving in your mouth <laughs> come here and talk to the camera uh -huh. <laughs> you look like you've got mumps with all those grapes in your mouth Oh, so close. Right, Kenzie, show everybody your skin. It's quite bad at the moment. Oh, can, this is probably not the best, I'm sure, but it is pretty clear. This one's good. And look at that, it's so this much better. Well. Um, yeah, he, he has just got caught in the rain, so that will make it look flared up. Here we go. So, Kenzie's skin is definitely improving, isn't it, Kenzie? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the only thing we can think of is that maybe it's not dietary related and maybe it's contact because the I one... I didn't realise we didn't check the biscuits for eggs and I'm fine. Which biscuits? The biscuits that Daddy got. Well, you should have checked. You were meant to check everything. Oh, my goodness. See, if I don't check the packets of everything he eats... Well, Daddy said it was okay, so... Yeah, but your dad doesn't check the packets properly either. Nobody can read the packets, it seems. I have to read the packets. 
and then they moan at me because they go well, I've read it and I go yes but you don't read it properly anyway so we started introducing food to him we've uh, for those of you that don't know, we have we have had him on an elimination diet. Again, that is in a playlist, the elimination diet. We've been working our way through it to improve his eczema. And we went off dairy, soya, wheat, eggs, citrus. And we have just started to introduce, we've done, we've done milk, dairy, and he's fine. And we've done wheat, and he's fine. And the next thing we want to do is eggs, yes? Yes. So we're going to work on eggs next, and we'll see how he goes with eggs. But I think it's contact and not dietary. Shower gel. I think it's a shower gel, maybe, yeah. So even though we've gone through stuff like this before, just going to take everything right back to basics. Um, and, and some of the changes we've made have improved by some of the products he's now using and ones he's now not using. I'm thinking that may have something to do with it as well. So, yeah, we are just tackling it head on at the moment just had a rogue pigeon trash my bird feeder there seems to be something about today that means I just keep getting caught in rain. I decided to come Pokemon hunting while Brenda went to the chip van to get fish and chips for dinner. So uh, yeah, I've been Pokemon hunting, but there's a big rain cloud coming. And I'm gonna get wet again, just like I did on the school run. Crab apple tree. Back in the dry and the takeaways arrived and that is mahoosive as always. Nice. Mm -hmm. Everyone happy with their food? Mm -hmm. Thanks for grabbing it, Brendan. Mm -hmm. I'm stuffed after that food. I have left most of the chips for food for tomorrow. I put them in a pot and they're going in the fridge later. But I did eat all the fish. Um, so there you go. This has kind of been a double vlog today because I did the totally childcare based video earlier on. And then I've just done a, a kind of a short vlog, um, which has turned out to be almost a full sized vlog. I must have had a lot to share with you today. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all tomorrow.